Hi. We're live. Hello. It's alive. It's alive. I might have had too much coffee. Um, hi. It's Wednesday and we're doing a sketchbook session. Why are we doing a sketchbook session on a Wednesday? Because we can. That's why. Felt like it. Um, also, I'm going to be off next week because I'm having some annual leave next week. So I'll be skipping streaming next week. I need a break. I haven't had a break since Christmas. I need a week off. Hi, Tyler. Tyler's here. The mod's in. The mod is in the house. Get the behind me bots. Uh, um, so it's not Fan Art Friday. It's just Wednesday hangout with our sketchbooks or whatever it is you want to do. The mod is awake this week as well. Well, that's that's handy. That's that's handy to know. Mika, hello, hello, hello. Um, I started drawing some puffins because I have this thing on my phone. Uh, 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 what's the word for it? A widget, right? And every day it shows me something. Oh, today it's a. A shoebell stalk. Love shoebell stalks. Um, every day it shows me a picture from my Pinterest board and yesterday it was this adorable little guy. So I took a screenshot of it because I'm like, dude, dude, I want to draw puffins. Puffins are so cute. And shoebell stalks are cool. They're like dinosaurs. Look at that guy. Might have to draw him as well. Let's download him and save him over there just in case we decide to do that. <coughs> uh. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we've got two things we can draw, but I just I just saw this little dancing puffin and I thought you are so adorable and I want to draw you. I think it's a young puffin. Maybe. Or well, not I think it's like a yearling puffin. It it looks young, but it's not a it's not a chick. I think I can see a little bit of wing sticking out here, but I think if I draw it it's gonna look a bit odd, so I'm not gonna draw it. We're just going to put some fluff in the way and pretend we can't see the other wing. Uh, and there's another little puffin up here. Another little guy. Uh, let's see, he's about here. I mean, they don't have to be to scale, do they? Or anything. Actually, I'm going to move him over a bit so I can fit him all in. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> I'm a bit of a funny throat today. Don't know what's going on with that. I slept with my mouth open or something. I don't know. I've also got a weird tooth thing happening. A puffinette. <laughs> Oh, baby puffin. A mini puffin. I've just drawn that in the wrong place. Let's try that again. It's because I'm not concentrating. Um, yeah, I've got a weird thing happening with my wisdom tooth. Over the last week, my... All of my wisdom teeth grew in instead of coming downwards. They grew in sideways like that from the back of my jaw. And because of where they were, they would have had to do a full operation and like unhinge my jaw to get them out. So instead, my dentist said it would be better to just take out the molars in front of each wisdom tooth and then let the, the wisdom teeth come down. So that's what we did. And all three of them have been, all four of them have been absolutely fine, except this week, this one, it's like it started rejecting. Like it's literally coming up out of the gum and it's really wobbly. And every time I touch it or brush my teeth or anything it, it comes up a bit further it's almost like it's trying to get out <laughs> it's very weird but it doesn't hurt either so I'm I'm thinking maybe the root's dead and it's just rejecting I don't know <clears throat> I 
Hi, Miss Maddie. Hi, baby. Exclamation mark, Maddie. It is the side where I had the gland shenanigans and it's the same side I had that thing not long ago, which um, it wasn't an abscess. It was, again, it was my, my saliva glands get infected under here. And then it, it puffs out like that. Um, and I had that a few years ago, several times. And then uh, I had it not long ago as well. Th uh, this year, I think I had it. Um, or was it, it might have been this time last year actually time flies a bit um, but yeah the whole side of this side of my face just and it does seem to be the same thing um, my tear ducts do it too it's it's a it's a weird it's just a weird thing where my my tear ducts and my saliva glands and my sinuses just completely block up um, and if they block up for long enough, they get infected. Um, so, yeah, it's weird. But there's no, like, the jaw doesn't feel weird. There's no swelling. There's no pain. There's no, there's no nothing. Oh, look, spam. Bye, spam. Pow. Um... Who's getting the spam? Who wants to who wants to be the spam batter today? Uh, yeah, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but it's I got a weird thing happening, and I've also got the wrong screen up, so I've actually got there we go. <laughs> That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I can also see chat. I still haven't figured out how to get chat on my... Whoa, don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. I told you not to do that. There we go. <laughs> Weird. Um, bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> Continuing on. Um, yeah it's very strange and it's happened over the last like not even a day or two it's it there's been no pain there's been no problems there's been nothing that I'm aware of and yet suddenly my tooth is like it's like when you used to have a wobbly tooth when you were a kid and it just it wants to come out so I don't know just let it come out I guess let it do what it wants to do No point going to the dentist because they'll just go well if it doesn't hurt <laughs> they're very reluctant to do anything until something actually hurts so i might as well just wait and see what happens and uh, hope for the best i guess Ooh, okay, I can't see where this is going. What, what am I missing here? There's a bit there. Mm -hmm. There's his little orange chubby cheek. And then his head is too high. That's what's going on. That's what's throwing me off. The head is too tall head needs to be half the height of the body it needs to be about there there we go that's better already welcome to the stream hello this is a very chill, quiet stream where we just, well, I grab my sketchbook and draw stuff and uh, you can do whatever you want to do. You can co-work with me, you can 
watch what I'm doing, have some music on. You can just sit and chill. Get your sketchbook and draw with me if you want to. That's okay too. Watch from work. Your first mod action. Yeah, get the spammer. Get the spammer. Miss Maddie has received 13 belly rubs on stream. Exclamation mark Maddie to give Maddie a, a belly rub. She loves her belly rubs. This this dude's face does not want to play. It just It just doesn't want to play. Let's get a shape in first. There we go. Hey, John. If you're lurking and working or just lurking because you feel like it, that's totally fine. We're, lurkers are welcome here. No need to say hello. But don't forget to follow and subscribe and all that jazz, you know. Because um, it's fun. Well, it's chill anyway. I don't know if it's fun. I suppose it depends on your definition of fun, doesn't it? Okay, I'm getting too picky about that one because I can't quite get the angle right for where I want it to be. I think it's close enough. It'll look like a puffin by the time I've coloured it in. Okay. Let's do... I'm still on a marker kick. I don't seem to be able to get out of it. Every time I go to pick up any... Uh, paints or anything I'm like eh, no but i'd rather use markers because they dry faster is that it am i am i over wet media <laughs> no i don't make it happen you cannot do this to me I think my impatient gene met alcohol markers and went, ooh, we have to wait for these to dry. <laughs> and now I'm obsessed because it's quicker. I haven't done any sketching anything um, any sketching today or yesterday so I'm a bit stiff but I'm already loosening up I can feel it happening as I go it's not a bad thing at all Let's find that orange. I'm gonna need my sketchbook with my colours on. Still haven't got some desktop stuff to do. Oh cool. Yeah, Twitch streams are great for when you have to do computer stuff. Hey Vile! Twitch streams are great for when you have to do computer stuff, especially if you can put it on the TV. <laughs> uh 
Right, so I want a nice burnt orange and a nice shadow orange. YR7 and YR3, I believe, is what we're looking for. Let's have a look. YR7, YR3. Which is the darker one? YR3, I think. Let's just check. Hard to tell sometimes with a hoo hoo. YR7. Oh, I didn't do music again. Well, oh, mind you, it's not really worth doing music because what I want to do is try a a couple of um, free trials. And there's no point doing free trials because I'm not here next week. So I'll get a seven, seven day free trial and I'll only get like two days worth. So not a point, no point in doing that right now. But after I come back, I'm on annual leave next week. I'm taking a break, I'm taking a holiday. I'm not going anywhere. I'm having a staycation. But I won't be online much. Because I spend my entire life online and I need a break. Uh, apparently it's going to be nice weather next week. Whoa! And by nice, I mean it, we might actually make it to early March. Currently we're on February the 139th. According to the weather. Uh, what? I want an orangey colour. Why are 34? that one for the little puffy cheeks you had Sundays off you got so much done with twitch in the background yeah I get a lot done with twitch in the background I missed the entire grey section of this one up here. <laughs> Completely forgot about this guy. What I really like for, for Twitch is either something like this that's like calm and I can I can watch it but I don't have to be listening so I can listen to music or whatever or something really kind of manic and crazy if I have things that I need to get done. So I tend to listen to a lot of um, game streams. Um, but not the kind of stuff that I play. Like I play wander around looking for stuff type games <laughs> rpg type stuff i i prefer like the first person shooters and and competition games and racing games and stuff because it's just something about the music it gets you up and moving and going and i don't know can't play super mario kart but i can get a lot of cleaning done to it <laughs> Right, let's get some shading on this guy down here. It's like they've got little moustaches. they like got like Poirot moustaches. So cute. So cute. How are you so cute? And the way they walk, they're just, I mean, look at this goof. Oh, love them.
That might have been a bit too dark, but that's okay. We'll survive somehow. a lighter grey. Uh, that one will do. Oh no, that's, t that's zero. That's a bit too light. We want no, that's one. Also too light. Two should do it. What's everybody up to this week? It's Wednesday. Any plans for the rest of the week? I will be here on Twitch on Friday again. And in the meantime, I'm on Patreon. trying to get as much done for one book July as I can before I have to before I take next week off because I, I don't want to have to do work stuff next week so lots of editing and voiceovers and that sort of stuff always fun Yes, there is going to be one book July this year. It's uh, me and Carrie and Vicky again. And this year, Mika's joining us. Woohoo! tiny little fruit fly flying around and it's driving me nuts. Go away. from your leg thing apparently it's negatively affecting your back yeah it will do because your back will start compensating for the fact that your your legs your legs tightened up so your pelvis will be out of line it's common did it help though yep one book july starts july 1st uh but my video will be scheduled to go up next week i believe the other girls are doing their videos for next week as well I'm not sure I haven't spoken to them yet well I have spoken to them obviously and 
Anna's graduation and pinning ceremony is tomorrow. She completed a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Very exciting. Congratulations, Anna. Is this um, um, Odin's mum? I know people by their dogs. I assume you're going to the ceremony. Yes, it is Odin's mum. Odin is a very cute husky with an attitude issue. I mean, if you haven't met a husky that didn't have an attitude issue, but he's he's exceptional. A regular attendee of my Patreon sessions. <laughs> Okay, let's get some contrast on the. Oh, I need to clean my markers. This happens a lot. <laughs> the one thing I don't like about markers is it gets everywhere. I think it's where I pull them out and they get they touch the sides or something. I don't know. Give them a nice strong orange contrast for his little leggies and feet. pen at. Oh I know, I use my Copic one for a change. I don't use this one very often. God, I generally prefer my ballpoint pens but I've got this one, I might as well use it. Oh I need a bit more darker in there. A bit more darker. That's some fun grammar there. Well done. Stream Elements is really going for it today. Ah, Tyler's messing in the background. Yeah, he's got the lurk commands set up. Lurk and unlurk. We like the lurk and unlurk. Eagle has landed. <laughs> she did a, they did a thing and it worked. Alias include AFK, BK and back. What's BK? Not familiar with that one. Oh, back, as in back. BK is back, yeah. 
practice. You can't expect to get better at something if you don't practice. If the last time you drew something was when you were 10, expect to draw like a 10 year old. You may quote me if you wish. This is in chat, if you're watching without the chat. I'm reading chat. <laughs> Short for back, yes, I, I figured that eventually. <laughs> Look, I'm old, okay, I'm a Gen Xer. We're not, we're not overly familiar with the, the acronyms, all right? Rose Soapbox, yeah. I did used to play WoW, but I haven't played WoW in... The last time I played WoW was when the level 72 epic expansion came out. Uh-huh. Max character level of 72. An epic armour. I don't even know when that was. And then I played RuneQuest for quite a long time. And then I stopped playing that in about 2005, 2006, maybe a bit later. No, 2008 I stopped playing RuneQuest. Uh, I stopped gaming altogether, actually, until lockdown and everybody started playing <laughs> on the Switch. And now I, I play Diablo 2, Diablo 3 and Diablo 2 because I will never get tired of kicking that guy's ass. Cody! We said wow and she was summoned. <laughs> How do you get Cody's attention? You mentioned wow. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been a while, girly. This guy is really cute. I love him. He's so cute and adorable. Go away, fly, you're doing my head in. Hi, Madge. It's awake. Hi, Miss Maddie. Hi, baby. How is everybody? We're good. We're good. Had to take a break dealing with family stuff. Ugh. Yeah. It's it's very different without you in, in class. 
It's very different. But that's life. More belly rubs for Maddie. Oh my goodness me, Miss Maddie, you're getting all the belly rubs today. Yes, we are. All the belly rubs. Oh my goodness me. No oh, wagging tail. She's very happy with that. Okay. Is that right? Bobsy. The door's open if you want to go out. It's fine. No, she's going back to bed. Why would she want to go out when she's going to go back to bed? These guys are cute. I love this. Give them some something to stand on, shall we? Uh, what do I fancy? Should be a bit, bit, bit mixed media. Bit of mixed media. Why not? Just throwing a bit of you. Some grassy bits. what I was doing. There you go, that's better. Um, it's a bit darker down here. Did I open this box? I've opened the box the wrong way around. <laughs> Everything was in the lid, not the box. Is that the same colour? I think it is. Mm, oh, that's a good colour. That's what we need. He's rocking out, yeah, he is. He's he's having a blast. Little dude. The other one's like kids these days. tall grasses up here.
There we go. More belly rubs for Maddie! Exclamation mark Maddie for belly rubs for Maddie, my dog, if you're not familiar with Maddie. I'll show you. She doesn't come on camera. She's she's not camera shy, she just she's, she's just old. I'm like, dude, I'm not doing it. That's who you gave him belly rubs to. This is the belly rubber. I should do a little icon. Tyler's been trying to figure out how to get it to do a pop-up, but I can do a little icon as well. There might be some stuff that I play around with while I'm off next week. You know, just odd bits and pieces that I can play around with on the um, iPad. But it's not really work, it's just like playing about because me and digital media aren't really friends. More like social acquaintances. <laughs> if I have time, I'll hang out with digital media. <laughs> if I can be bothered, you know, occasionally I'll do a bit of procreate stuff, but mostly I'd, I'd rather be painting. That's actually a little bit too dark. I should have done that in the thinner pen, but that's okay. We'll live. What people use mix it up for images on screen. What's mix it up? Is it an app? Because I got Procreate. I don't need to learn another app. <laughs> Set it as a points reward. Oh, okay. Phenomenal cosmic power. Go for it. Do what you like, I don't care. <laughs> it's Twitch, let's have some fun. <laughs> I finally figured out alerts the other day. So I know when somebody follows on stream or something like that. Oh, that's assuming I've got them turned on. Have I got them turned on? I haven't got, I haven't got alerts turned on even. Oh, chat box is working. <gasps> chat box is working. It's not working the way it should work, but it's working. That's weird because it wasn't working last week. Ah, uh, no, no. That was not what we wanted to do. Discard. Uh, where, where did it go? There we go. Let's try copy. Put it up 
Ikea. Am I messing with my stream elements in the middle of my stream? Yes. Do I care? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's what I want. The chat box, yeah, that's what I was trying to get to work last week and it didn't want to work. Now it's working. It's not working very well, but it's working. Okay. Didn't know what I switched on that allowed that to work, but. It's hard to see, you can only see usernames, so I'll have to mess about with it, but yeah, that's working. Oops. Don't do that. Oh, now I'm on the wrong screen. Ah, ah. Yeah, I've, I've got it on there as an overlay, which I can turn on and off, but last week it wouldn't work. But it's still, like, it's here, but it's it's oh, too big and the wrong size, and it's supposed to be just a black strip under, like, here. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Right, just here is supposed to be a black strip with the chat text so that you can watch this full screen if you want to but it doesn't it's not doing it the way it's supposed to it's too big it's too wide and it's not black <laughs> so that's not working the way intended stretch time Ugh. God, we've been on almost an hour already. How is that happening? I'm not going to get sidetracked into playing with Twitch overlays today. Maybe that's something I can play with next week. Ah, uh, right, okay. Um, what else do I have on here? Ooh, that, that dude. That dude. We love that dude. Oh, yeah. He's cool. So this guy is, hmm, he's quite big. Maybe I, let's bound him. Yes, how about that? Cause he's huge. Let's crop it down square. It's the same size, that would be a really good idea.
This is terrible. We may not be able to salvage this one. That's that's not working. <laughs> that's not working for me. Uh, check the dimensions are the same as there on the stream elements. Yeah, I've already done that. The problem is the stream element, when you import it into OBS, everything comes in at 600 by 400. So you have to kind of mess about with the settings. I don't know why that happens, but it does. And it is really annoying let's see if we can redo this guy he's too big that's one of the issues I'm having let's go into edit mode make him smaller maybe I just don't want to draw him I don't know Ooh, concentrating and not talking. <laughs> you always forget to draw on post-it notes. I know. I I always look at other artists' note, sketch pads and I'm like, I really like the, the concept, the whole idea, the whole, as the kids say, aesthetic of just chucking in a colourful post-it note and, and using it as part of your page. Not necessarily just drawing one thing on it like I'm doing, but you know just putting it in as a background and, and coloring over it but I always forget to do it until I finish the page and then I'm like you know what putting a pink post-it note right here would have been worked really well
that looks too scary. He's He's got a pretty face. Almost a kindly face, actually. Which is kind of why I like them. They look so big and mean. And then when you actually look at their face, they don't look mean at all. They just they just stare at things a lot. And I mean, I can relate. noises in the background of Maddie doing stuff stuff and things things and stuff on another note just clean clean my glasses cute oh yeah just doing the same thing they get dirty so fast yeah they do I'm not averse to sticking mine under soapy water to be honest they seem to get greasy and I don't like the grease marks. Craft lunch. Okay, where's my purpley blue? Let's use this one. Well, of course I don't know what this is gonna look like on us. On us. Oh, same colour. Okay, fair enough. Ooh. Oh, I have got something underneath. Markers don't actually feather that much either. No, um, not on real post-its. Real post-its don't feather with alcohol markers. And one of the reasons is because you can use fountain pens on them. I, I've, I kept buying cheap post-its because they're cheap. <laughs> And what I found was I just ended up throwing them away because they're cheap and they don't stick and you can't paint on them. And now I just buy proper post-its, but I buy the recycled ones. Like um, these ones, 100% recycled paper. They're just as good as the original post-its, um, but they're recycled. So I don't feel so bad using a ton of them like I normally do. Hi, baby. Hi, Miss Maddie. How are you doing? Doors open. You can go out. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, really? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, heck is me. What do we need? What do we need? More belly rubs. 
more belly rubs. Um, thought it might have done a lot more than sketchbook paper. No, cheap paper will, but this is cheap paper and it doesn't feather either. Exclamation mark, Maddie for belly rubs. 17 belly rubs today on stream, Miss Maddie. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Such a good girl. Hi, babe. Hi. She's a bit needy today. You're needy. It's warm and it's not raining. You could go and sit outside if you want to. The door's open. Can. With your blue bandana. Yeah. Good girl. Right, I need to find a colour that's going to do those eyes, but the blue is not going to work, I don't think. I think I need green to make it stand out. There we go. Exactly what I was looking for. Okay. I want kind of an off-white. Bloody fruit flies. Okay. Go away. Pen. Burbs. Today we are drawing burbs. Now we're draw we're doing burbs and barking in the background. What are you looking for? Oh, I know what I'm looking for. Some colour pencils. This one specifically.
concentrating, not talking again. <sighs> this is why we need music. This is why I need to sort music out when I come back. All the Fan Art Friday tags are still on stream. Are they? Oh, I didn't change the... No, I forgot to change the stream title. Because I can't figure out how to change... I, I, select, I set it up. I did it. I set it all up. I selected it as a preset scheduled event. But for some reason... When I start streaming in OBS, it just defaults to whatever the last thing was. And I don't know why. It's like, like in YouTube, you can go in and set a stream and then you get a streaming list and you can just select what thing you want to stream to. I can't do that with Twitch and I don't know why. It doesn't want to let me. And everything's changed so much since the last time I set everything up. I don't, I don't know where anything is anymore. I knew where everything was in Streamlabs. Thanks Streamlabs for no longer bothering to support my Mac. Really appreciate that. There is a Streamlabs plugin for OBS, but it doesn't work on my Mac because Streamlabs no longer works on my Mac. You have to have the Streamlabs thing. Dex you have to have the Streamlabs desktop, desktop and plug it into OBS, but it doesn't work on my Mac. Stream Elements doesn't work on my Mac either. So I can't plug use that plugin for OBS either. OBS is the only thing that works on my Mac and is reliable. want to add some pink. I don't know why I'm really into adding pink on stuff lately, but this is something that I keep doing. Like a little pop of colour here and there, and it just feels fun and interesting. It's 
almost like outlining with a marker, but adding pink. Where did this come from? I don't know. I don't know. Why would I know? I picked it up from, actually, I do know where I got it from. I got it from Gret Lusky. I got Gret Lusky's book, which is fantastic. I love this book. Um, but she does that a lot where she do something like, well, this one she did it with pencil, but she'll she'll just suddenly add a colour on, on bits around the outside. And it's not like an outline. It's just kind of like, almost like motion lines sometimes she does it. Of course, I can't find any now. But yeah, she, um, sorry, that's um, Wayfinder, Gretel Lusky. Fantastic book. Love it. Big fan of her work. But yeah, just adding a little bit of a pop of colour here and there just is fun. I don't know where my glue stick is. So I think I'll just stick some double sided tape on this since I've already drawn on it, that'll be fine. I do occasionally go through a pink phase, but not like pastel pink, like uber pink. It's gonna be like cerise for me to want to actually play with it. I also like cerise and teal together and purple, which is the three pens that I had there actually, which is why I've got those three colors in Posca's. go okay oh that's cute i like him yeah i've got um these three and a, a raspberry red i've got a really nice red that i use a lot which i don't know where it is but it's it's similar to this it's a, a pit, redder version of this. I don't know where it is offhand. And I've got a lot of stuff on my desk that I need to clear up. That's one of the things I'm doing next week as well, clearing my desk. Because that needs to happen. Are you in there? Yeah, I don't know where the, I don't know where the red one is. I think it's just called dark red. Oh, that's another one. That light purple ah, there she is um yeah dark red lilac violet fuchsia which is my favorite one and emerald green which is actually more of a teal color these colors together i, I just dig them i just dig them i might even add some of this green over here for this For this guy. It just adds a pop of fun. It also helps you when you need to differentiate between two objects that are the same colour in front of each other. Really see it on camera but see it just just adds a little bit of fun shows up better on this one i like it okay we seem to be doing burbs today so let's go back on pinterest and see what other burbs we get oh i've got all the things open on my ipad no wonder it's a little bit unhappy with me Burb. Does it need to be a burb? Not necessarily. I 
I've drawn him before, so I'm not going to do that one. I've done him before too. Hmm. stupidly pretty like you and you're cute like you and you're just a big puff ball of pastel colors which I don't think I'm up for right now um, I do not know what kind of bird this is do you know so we've got this one he's pretty don't know what kind of bird that is we've got a, that looks like one of those Australian robin things I don't know that oh, never says on Pinterest <laughs> it's, it's going to a link on tumblr so that's going to be accurate as well uh, that doesn't post doesn't even exist so I don't know what it's just pink it, it's uh, I like this guy he's pretty colors let's download that one Oop. birds Ooh, what did I do? Birds. There we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like that one. I think I like that one red one that I pulled out. I think he'll be pretty and we get to do all his little white dapples. Oh, did I not download? I didn't download him. Great. Yay. Oh, do you want to see what uh, this month, this year's One Book July theme is? Spoilers. Oh, I've opened the wrong app again now. I swear I'll open the right thing in a minute. Promise. Ta-da! Should I do that again? Ta-da! Coming soon to a YouTubes near you. I didn't download that pretty one. That's more than even less than me. Uh, that's. I think it was on my own page. Ah! There he is! I found him. Whew. There we go. So that's what he looks like. He's pretty, isn't he? I love that red colour. Well, I reckon he'll fit nicely in there. And then I might be able to fit that little black hummingbird up in there. That would be fun. Um, let's just throw in a pencil, I think. Okay, so we've got chubby body, chubby tail, chubby neck. This is the hard bit, getting the beak in the right place.
feet. Damn, this bird's got some talons. Huge. I wonder if it's a river bird. It's got talons like a like a predator. Like a kingfisher. That's what I was that's what I was thinking of, a kingfisher. It doesn't have a long enough beak to be a kingfisher. But that it's it's got the talons of a kingfisher. I mean we could just we could just look it up, couldn't we? Share, airdrop, phone. Copy. Paste. It looks like it's that that bird recolored and all the list says it's an owl but I'm not convinced. Minor bird or starling. Common starling. That, that sounds more like it. A young starling, that sounds more like it. That's a print of that doesn't yeah, it's got similar plumage. It's all from Pinterest. So I think that's, yeah, I think that's a starling and I think the red one has been recolored, but I don't care because it's a cool picture. It's only in my sketchbook. It's not like I'm doing a fine print of it or whatever. He's cute. And therefore we shall colour. Okay, let's see. Where's his head? Mm, where's his... So that's going to be... His eye's going to be about here. Beak is going to be about there. That's about halfway, so that is going to be it's going to be about there. Coming up and coming down and back up again. Something like that. He does have a short pudgy little neck but he comes in and then out here. If you want to learn how to draw birds go and look up John Muir Law on it on uh, YouTube. He's a nature artist. And he's absolutely incredible. He's not a nature artist, he's a nature journaler. And he does these really quick sketches of birds like this. I'm just approximating where all these markings are. I actually think this might be a digital a digital piece. That it's actually a digital piece of artwork that somebody's uploaded. I really can't tell. But I like the colours. And here we are. It's on my Pinterest board. So if you're looking for it and you want to go and find it or 
see if you can look it up and find the original picture manipulator or photographer then feel free go and find who it is I'm just putting it in here in my sketchbook I'll have a look later and see if I can find out who it's by but until such time I just want to play Okay, let's do, it does look a bit like a kingfisher, yeah. Did I read that earlier? I don't remember. We've got some lurkers. Hi lurkers, you're welcome to lurk. We like lurkers. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, whatever, if you want to. Just to remind people, I am on annual leave next week, so I will not be streaming next week. Nothing. I'm streaming nothing. There might be a YouTube video out. Um, there might be two, actually, because I've got YouTube videos to pop, uh, but they're pre-scheduled and they're already done. So no live streams next week at all. I'm taking the week off. I love you all, but dude, seriously, <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> Right, let's find a nice bright red for this guy. I'm going to use my R2. Definitely one of my favourite colours. Uh, we're basically all over the lower part of the body. With a bit of an exception around this sort of area. Like that, so... it all in and worry about it later. The top is black but I don't want to oh actually I will put the black in because the black will affect the contrast so uh, let's see I don't want to put black on that bit because I don't yet know whether the purple will be dark enough. So.
Nope, wrong end. Do the eye grey so we can see it a bit better, but I'm going to put some white and some black in there in a minute. Uh, dark brown, not too red. yellow again so I've used the same color on all three then can even put a bit onto the red of these wings to give some of them a bit more orange tone tree limb is going to be green I think I'm going to use the same green I used for the the puffins over here for that tree limb Do the outlining first.
Okay. Let my, oh, I need to do the tree trunk. Anybody playing along? Anybody sketching? Or are you all planning and writing and journaling and stuff? Why did I think it was going to be a good idea to paint all these white dots? What made me think that would be fun? This is where a, a brush tip marker would come in really handy. They do make brush tip poskas, I'm not a big fan. I don't like real brush tips. I have a couple. I do like the colours, but this is like a proper splay brush tip, see? And I, I, I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. And yeah, I don't have one in white. <laughs> I need to get a white brush tip in Posca that's that's what I need to pick up because Posca white is the only one that seems to work properly for what I like to use but and these are bigger dots so I'm going to go bigger with them
what we would like is some of those Artex acrylic brush markers. Um, I've seen a lot of artists using them lately and they seem to have brush nibs like this, which is what I prefer, this kind of foam brush nib. I find it easier to work with those than the paintbrush type nibs. And they seem very opaque, which the Ahuhu ones are not. The Ahuhu ones are essentially more like working with gouache. Gouache. gouache gouache <laughs> Artex markers yeah I need Artex markers hello Artex What's, you've sent everybody else in the world some markers some of some people twice maybe send me some I'd really appreciate it Okay, need some more definition around that eye. It's not looking dark enough. Where's my pen? Oh, there you are. Too much white going on up in here as well. That's better. pen this is a jelly roll pen it won't show up on camera but what I'm gonna do is put the jelly roll yeah it's working I'm gonna put the jelly roll over the eye because it's a black circle in a black circle in a black area so if I put the glaze over the eye it'll make it stand out more in real life it doesn't it doesn't make much difference on the camera but you can see that you can now see the eye better so that's good uh, a bit more definition on this slope here i think There we go. I like him. He's cute as well. Oh, let's break a minute. I think I can fit that little black coloured one up in here. Whether I can fit him in so he doesn't look like he's sat on the puffin's head or not is another matter. I do want to do something with the background, I think. only ship to the USA, Germany, France and the Philippines. Who do? What do 
I want to add? What, what do I want to... I'm fairly sure this is where people get to that point in a spread where they just go, you know what, I'm just going to fill up the rest of it with some stars. <laughs> Seems weird to me that I have a whole Europe warehouse for two countries and a wholesale warehouse for one. Who? Who are we talking about, Tyler? Artex? No, you can buy them on Amazon. That's why they have a US and a Europe warehouse, because they sell out through Amazon. But I must use these up first before I splurge. What do I think? I, th I think we need some blue down here. I want some blue down here. If I use a bright blue... And then that's up there with bright blue and yellow, which will match that. And then, well, there's purple in that one as well. I don't know if I want purple. And direct from them, yeah, they only ship to certain places. But that's for wholesalers. They only wholesale ship. Because they have two warehouses. But they've got two warehouses in Europe and America because they sell on Amazon. They're like uh, they're like a hoo hoo. They don't produce one product. They do paper. They do alcohol markers. They do everything. As soon as you add alcohol markers into a mix, you can't ship across borders. So they couldn't have a EU warehouse and ship alcohol markers to America. So they have to have two different warehouses, even for Amazon. I think you can buy from them direct in certain countries. I want the brush tips because I like brush tips. The brush tips didn't exist when I bought these. Um, actually, a who sent me the bullet nibs. And I do like the bullet nibs because they're kind of like, um, they remind me of Crayola super tips, which are actually quite versatile. Oh, that's straight. Look at that. <laughs> Try that one again without the oops. Yeah, I like the I like the Crayola Super Tip bullet points, bullet tips. But they're not as easy to get brush marks like you can with alcohol markers, but my main crib with these is that they don't dry waterproof. That's why I say it's more like working with gouache. Like I can let this dry 24 hours, I could come back over it with another color and it'll just pick if I put yellow over it, it'll go green. Do not like. The whole point of acrylic is that it, it's not re-wettable. <laughs> These are good pens though. I, I do like them. It's just that they don't do what I expected them to do. I'm not knocking a hoo-hoo at all. I think I, I think a hoo-hoo is a great brand. But they keep pulling out, pr pr putting out um, stuff that is more like Posca, so it's these stupid bullet nibs that you have to, or foam nibs that you have to push down and prep them and shake them, and these do don't have to do anything, you just store them the right way up. <laughs> and it's fine. I like that blue, that blue looks really good with this colour scheme. I definitely needed that blue, nice cool tone blue.
because of the nature of the nib they lay down a bit patchy as well you can see the streaks whereas the brush nibs don't but that's a, an effect of the bullet nib not the brush not the paint it's not a reflection of the paint at all uh i think it needs some color like i feel like i want to add some gold to it it's strange oh there's another red oh that's there's another red that's the red I was looking for earlier. I confused it with this one. I like both those reds. But this one, the red wine red, is it goes better with these. See, it goes with those colours very well. Um, what was I looking for? Gold. I've got silver. There, there we go. It's gold. make the cap gold why why do they do this for the metallics so you can just get it mixed up with your black why don't they just make the cap gold like this it's like a hoo-hoo halfway through setting up all their colors what did they do they went oh we're going to do the same as copics and make all the brush nibs on the gray end and then we're going to bring out a whole new range of colours. We're going to make them the exact opposite. Just to confuse people. So the brush tip is not at the grey end. These people. Yeah, the metallics only have it on the, the thing. Which, if this breaks off, you don't know what colour you're using anymore. You have to go by this, which wears off. See, I can go over this with a Posca if I'm very careful and very light. Um, but I have to be very careful and very light or it will just pick up the colour. kind of pretty yeah I like that oh full effect Let's add a little bit of a white outline on this eye because it's still not standing out as much as I would like but I don't want it to be too light. There we go, that's better. Mission accomplished, okay. Right. Are we capable of doing that one over there? It's a funny shaped bird. I don't know if it'll fit in that space without making the puffin look like it's got something on its head. Let's try something else. Mm. 
small bird. Oh, you're pretty. What oh, secretary bird? Oh, look how pretty that is. Guys, that's so pretty. Okay, we're save we're, we're keeping you. We'll save you for later. Uh, what other birds do we have in here? We have toucans. I've done a toucan before, I think. Okay. Small burb. Hi, baby. More belly rubs for Maddie. Hello, baby. There's so much AI on everything these days. Grr. I don't mind AI pictures, but have a thing on it that says it's AI, maybe. Oh. What is that? Nope, that's another AI bird. Sacri oh, secretary bird, Sagittarius serpentarius. Belly rubs for Maddie. Look, Miss Maddie, more belly rubs. Hi, baby. Oh, she's purring. Yes, my dog purrs. No, she doesn't purr. She's a staffy. She goes <laughs> like Darth Vader, but that's that's her purring. A large raptor related to hawks and eagles got its name because of its quill-like crests on the back of its head that resemble 18th century clerks' desks with pens tucked into their wigs. Hmm. Oh, secretaries. Pens. Oh, I got it. The bird has a distinctive feature of very long eyelashes and makeup that models would kill for. Oh, very cool birds. And it's a real photograph as well by a real photographer. Uh, Brian Connolly and Rudy, Loy Rudy Loyton. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, dude. Oh, they're pretty. Look at these, they're so pretty. Um, let me turn it that way so you can see the pictures easier. Look, aren't they lovely? Oh, I think I found a new obsession. You're so pretty. Ooh, look at that beak. <sighs> you can really see the raptor in it when you see those beaks. Yeah, there's the eagle beak. My God, that looks like an eagle, that part. Oh, we're going to have to draw some of you. Ooh, look. Oh, I didn't imagine they'd have long legs. That's kind of weird. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, hi. I didn't imagine they'd have massive legs like that. That's... Oh, I'm going to have to draw... Oh, I'm bookmarking this page. Uh, share to uh, copy link. That'll do. Let's go to uh, Chrome. And... Paste the link. Seriously, you're going to take me via Pinterest again? Opening browser, there we go, that's what I was looking for. We know technology. Okay, I can... 
I've never been more annoyed by websites than this since they brought this you must agree to all cookies and references and god knows what else every single time you go to a website it drives me nuts can I not just opt into everything and just pretend you know like the way we all just skip the T's and C's and just tick the box can I just not have that option to just <sighs> add to bookmarks oh no I can't I can't add it to bookmarks until I've agreed to the agreed to the okay right what's up Madge what are you crying for love right okay I'm coming back to those I might do those in my big book at some point because they're cool now let's find a little bird that doesn't isn't AI generated that would be nice <laughs> small burb let's do small bird wildlife photography we really need a reference oh my god <laughs> well I don't know what that is but dude I, f I know how you feel <laughs> I too have had days like this I'm getting annoyed with AI now. If you're an AI photo, say you're an AI photo! Strawberry finch. Oh! Hang on. That's not the same bird though, is it? He's cool though. Oh, it's Bored Panda again. Bored Panda, apparently, is quite good for bird references. Strawberry finches. Am I, am I going down a rabbit hole of let's draw all the birds? That, no, it's not quite the same, is it? That's the opposite way round, actually. It look, almost looks like somebody took a kingfisher and kind of tried to copy the colours of, of that bird onto the kingfisher. A bit in a kingfisher's pattern. Oh! <gasps> Longer than little fluffy babies. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, you're cute. You, you might fit up there. Can I fit you in there? Oh, you might be a little bit too big. If I hadn't put this one in, I could have fitted him in there. Let's get the... Oh, there we go. There's the artist name. I'm just going to screenshot that one before I go down a, another rabbit hole. Okay, let's change tack. Instead of doing birds, let's try something else. What goes with birds? Bees. We like bees, right? Bees are cool. The old bumbles and honeys. There's a nice bumble. I think that's probably an AI photo, but I'm only using it as a reference, so whoops. It, it still looks like a bumblebee, so I'm all right with that. As long as it looks like an actual bumblebee, I don't mind. Do I want to do that one or that one? Because that one's quite cute. Maybe I could do them both. Can I fit them both in? Can I fit that one there and that one there? Maybe. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, oh, 
overall flower head bumblebee head body butt wing now he'll fit in there okay so can I fit this one over here uh, let's see I want him about an inch long draw his bumble butt and his wings and his bumble body bumble head big bumbly eye I just like saying the word bumble at this point okay it's a bumble butt I like the word bumble we can fit him in there and then can even fit his flower in just kind of move that flower over a bit and have it facing that way like that I do okay so this one will be going off over here we've got some big petally things well, not petally things, literal petals, dude. Literal petals. <sighs> Big yellow petals and some greeny bits. And the, let's have the stem of the flower coming off over here. And maybe some greeny bits coming off over there. There we go. Um, so he's kind of kind of got a square body with a big black bit shiny bit there and then we've got a triangular bit and then a fluffy bit like a waist belt and then a fluffy bum and then he's got kind of a almost like a carapace thing at the back and more fluffy butt okay uh, where are the f where are the wings coming out of? Up here and down and up there and sort of like that, a bit like that, and then this is all crazy paving. Can't see his other wing. Where's his other wing? Oh, it's facing us here. So his other wing is is here, which is hard to see, but it's it's there. Kind of end on okay and we've got fluffy bumble legs all the fluffy bumble legs seem to be at the front so we've got fluffy bumble leg fluffy bumble leg foot fluffy bumble leg fluffy bumble leg we can't see the foot because it's behind something Fluffy bumble leg. Fluffy bumble leg. Foot. And then you can see fluffy bumble leg and foot. Okay. And this bit is all yellow. And this bit is all black. This bit is all yellow, and this bit is all black, and so it's that bit. Got kind of a stripe across there that's yellow, and then black fluffy bits, and then a yellow fluffy bit at the back, there, at the front there. You can't see his eyes at this angle, he's kind of got his back to you. As long as the bumblebee doesn't suddenly have nine legs, you should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're definitely looking at six legs and two wings. Uh, I think it's it's close enough to be able to say, you know what, that looks like a bumblebee. I'm going to call it a bumblebee. I'm not sure about this thing at the back here. I don't like this shiny bit. I'm going to ignore that. Because I've never seen a bumblebee with a shiny bit at the back. And I don't think it looks right, so... I'm, I'm going to ignore that bit. 
So there's the black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. I don't know. The yellow one black and it's stripy. Is anybody going to look at it and go, oh, that's not a bee? Bees don't have that many stripes. I don't think so. Okay, let's draw this guy in. Uh, big eye. Big eye. And a little funny nose with a thing on it. Yep. And then a fluffy head. And then we've got fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Wings coming not out of his eye. His wings are not coming out of his eye. His wings are coming out of there. And they're going back there, and like that. Can't see the other wing in the photo, but I think it's about here somewhere. That would make sense. Fluffy bits. Oh, he's got a stinger. And then we've got a fluffy bumble leg, and a fluffy bumble leg, and a foot. A fluffy bumble leg, a fluffy bumble leg, and a foot. Uh, oh, that's that one's on the other side. Hang on. The body is there. That one's on the other side. This one's here. No, that's not right. That might be wrong. Let's just make it up. We know what a bee looks like. It's got six legs, stripes. Who, who's going to know? Who's going to know? How would they know? Yellow bits, green bits. There we go. Let's do some stripes. Do we know how many stripes a bumblebee has? No. Do we care? Mm, also no. They're small, so they don't really count, yeah. Bumblebees do have four wings. And you can see them, but I can't see them well enough to draw them. So, mine are going to have two wings. Because I don't care. Where's my grey? Oh, there it is. Literally sitting there looking at me. Um, let's see. feet, bumble leg, bumble leg. Nice, nice bright yellow. Ooh, you'll do. If I can find you. Bees can't see them either. Yeah. Bees not going to know, is it? You are not the bright yellow you purported to be. You're kind of a sickly insipid yellow. But it's okay, I'll let you off. Because we have another one that we can use. YR6. Which doesn't look like yellow at all. Thanks for that, hoo hoo. 
Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. It's more, more of a brighter kind of warm yellow. And this bluey lemon stuff. Now the flowers are the same colour as the bees. Now if I do the same flowers and the bees are the same colour, they're not going to be stand out. So I'm going to use that orange that I used earlier for the flower petals. Because then I've got that orange three places again. Look a bit like honeysuckles, but honeysuckles aren't orange. Honeysuckles are purple and pink and white. I call AI shenanigans again. That's okay. Green. Exactly what we needed. And I want a kind of a mauvey purple for those wings so they're catching the light. Let's see, 2.30, that one. There we go. And then I can layer a second one on these front ones. B and let's use some paint marker for these. Cause we can. nicely with that yellow oh that blue where's that blue where's that blue blue I'm 
light colour in there. I want that I want these bumblebees to be brighter. Yeah, brighter yellow. to have a bit more brightness on them as well. Because that's what attracts bees, isn't it? The really bright colours. Yeah, that's better. Um, let's use the mauve for the wings. Again, my pen has gone again. I keep putting it away. That's what's. That's where it keeps going. all right the sketchbook page done right do i want a wider background no i don't think i do actually I was thinking maybe I'd put some more of this dark blue over here, but I don't think it's going to... I think it's going to work. What if we do... A couple of blue stars.
that's kind of fun. And maybe on this side, because we've already got the blue, we use the green just for a bit of a change. I think I'll call that a day. Call it done, shall we? Let's take some photos for the gram. Did I do any... Uh, did I remember to do any... Um, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Reels? No. When do I ever remember to do a reel? what we want okay I'm going to try something I'm trying something here I played with something to see if I can do something a bit different let's see if it works it does work I just use slow mo mode for a reel. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I have to try that again. Now I know how it works. Maybe we can do it. A bit better. Did I learn a new camera trick last night? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I love this little guy. He's so cute. <laughs> this dude. This dude made it all worth it. But I actually like the whole thing. So, very cool. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, I will be back uh, Friday. And then I'm not streaming next week. I'm not streaming anything next week. Nothing. Nada. Not a jot. Nine. Zero. No streaming next week. I will be back uh, on whatever the first Monday of July is. That's when classes on Patreon kick off again. Uh, what's the first Monday of July? It's not. Is it the... It's not, is it the 4th of July? It's the first Monday of July, the 4th. No, it's the 1st. It's the 1st. Oh, that's right. Because, yes, because January started on Monday the 1st. And July starts on Monday the 1st. <laughs> and I'm loving it. So, 1, 2, 3. Wednesday the 3rd. Wednesday the 3rd I'll be back. No, I won't be next Wednesday. 
No, nothing next week. Nothing. Nada. You'd be lucky if I get out of bed next week. I just, I'd need a break. Uh, but I'll be back on Friday. This Friday. And I will be back July the 3rd. Wednesday, July the 3rd. I will also be on YouTube. Not live. I will have some videos on YouTube for July. And one next week that's pre-scheduled. For one book July. Oh, I can't wait to have a week off. I just need a break. <laughs> the irony, of course, is that what do I do on my week off? Uh, exactly the same thing I do on my not week off. I sit around and draw and write. <laughs> but it's supposed to be nice weather, so I might actually get to go out and draw and write. Unless I suddenly get bored out of my mind and then I'll go live. Yes, that I, that has happened in the past where I just got really bored. But it's supposed to be nice weather next week. At least it's supposed to be warmish, low 20s, not raining and not overly sunny, which is my kind of weather. That, that's my kind of weather. So I may go over, spend a lot of time going over the park with Maddie and just sketching in the park and painting in the park and stuff like that. And I can film that kind of stuff without having to do it live. Which means when I come back, I won't have to rush to catch up on videos or anything. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to follow if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber. You can subscribe for free. You just have to link your Amazon and your Twitch thing together. Uh, you can Google that. There's information on how to link the two together. Um, I had a message the other day saying that as of last month, uh, UK subscribers will be charged £4.99. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that changes from what it was before, if at all. Maybe people were charged in dollars before? I don't know. No idea. No idea what that change means. But UK subscribers will be charged 4 99 anymore these days. Uh, unless you said... Oh, I already read that. Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good rest of the week. And I will see you back here on Friday, same time. If you want to come and join me, I will do, be doing some more of my fan art, my David Tennant fan art. Um, that's it. Now i just got to figure out what screen I need to be on to stop the stream. <laughs> oh, I'm such a noob. Bye.